So then guys, great news. iOS 17 developer beta is now available for everybody to use and you can have it for absolutely free and you don't even need to have a full on developer account and pay $99 for it. You heard me right, you can get it for absolutely free and you can try it out on your iPhone right now. As long as obviously your iPhone is compatible and I'll show you which iPhones are compatible a little bit later into this video. But the main thing is you can try out new things like adding interactive widgets and also you can get that new contact card come up and all these other bits and new features that we saw at WWDC 2023 that is available for your iPhone. I'm going to show you how to get this installed onto your iPhone right now. Now the first thing I would actually say is that what you need to do with your iPhone is definitely do a backup of your data and I'll show you how to do that right now. So to do a backup, you'll want to go into settings on your phone, and then what you want to do after that is go into your account at the very, very top, then scroll down to your iCloud, and then inside this, you want to go to iCloud Backup. And as you can see here, it shows, you know, you've got an iCloud Black Backup and everything like this, and it'll also tell you when you did a most recent backup on your phone. Now, I would highly, highly recommend doing this backup because if you do want to restore back to iOS 16.5 or iOS 16, basically this is the backup you're going to need to restore your iPhone back to it, just in case iOS 17 doesn't work. And on that note as well, I would also say that with iOS 17, being it's a developer's beta, and that big keyword is beta, it is gonna be full of bugs and it is also gonna be full of problems. So I would say actually that the best thing to do is that if you are gonna install iOS 17, only install it onto an iPhone that you're going to test it with. Maybe this is going to be your primary iPhone you're going to test it on, but you know, don't get too worried or you know, don't get too scared if things don't work. You can always revert back. And I'd also encourage you not to actually start going on vacation or holidays or whatever like that with the beta just in case things go wrong. But what you want to do if you haven't done a backup recently is you want to click onto that backup now button. So I'm going to click that here and as you can see see here it's going to do my backing up and it's going to complete this on my iPhone so I'd recommend you guys do the same and make sure you sign into your Apple ID on your phone too. So with the backup all complete we're all finished here. Now what I will do is I will leave guides or I'll leave a link to an Apple guide to restore your iPhone to iOS 16 and I'll leave that in my description of my video if you do want to revert back. But let's move on. So what we can do is we can close down settings for the time being on our iPhone and we can set our iPhone aside just for the next minute. So next of all, what we want to do is actually set up your Apple account to be able to download the developer beta onto your iPhone. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So then guys, what you want to do first of all is to open up Safari. And I mean Safari on your Mac, it can be Safari on your iPad or your iPhone that you actually want to do the actual update to iOS 17 on, but it must be Safari. It cannot be Chrome and it cannot be something like Edge or anything like that. Then you want to go to this website here betaprofiles.dev and I'll also be putting this in my description below of this video as well but like I said it has to be opened up in Safari and that again it can be on your Mac, iPad, iPhone as long as it's definitely the Safari browser. Then what you want to do is you want to scroll down and obviously we've done the whole backup thing here and then it's basically step two but what we want to do is skip over method one. We actually want to go down here to method two. Method two is far easier to basically put iOS 17 onto your iPhone and let me show you what you have to do. It says here you have to go to join the Apple Developer Center. Now don't worry you're not going to be paying any money or anything like that you just need to log into the Apple Developer Center so you can get the ability to get iOS 17 developer beta on your iPhone. So all you have to do is just click on that and then it will open up in Safari and then what you need to do is you need to sign in with your Apple ID. This is the same ID that you've signed into your iPhone already. So this is like your iCloud sign in or anything like that and you want to do that. So I'm just going to sign in with my one just here so I'm just going to blank this out because I don't want to reveal my whole email address to you guys. But you just want to put your details in. After that, you want to put your password in. So I'm just going to put my password in as well. Again, I'm not going to be sharing this. 
but put in your password and after you've done this you want to press sign in now you probably get a message to say to do your double authentication so i'm just going to do my two-way authentication you probably have to do your same too so you might have to have an apple device near you to do that so i'm just going to do it and then once that's done you want to trust this browser so i'm going to press trust now and then I can save my password if I wanted to. So I'm going to do that. Now that I've signed in, that's all you need to do on this side of things. So we can close down this Apple tab, the developer Apple here. So I'm just going to get rid of that and go back to here. Now what we need to do is we need to go back over to our iPhone to do the next step. So as you can see here, I have a bit more of an older iPhone, as you can see here. Uh, well, I'm gonna install um, iOS 17 on, and actually check out the compatibility actually on Apple's website to see if your iPhone's compatible, but I know this one is. So I'm just gonna go inside here using my face ID, if I can get in there, and I just want to show you guys here quickly what you need to do on your iPhone is go to settings, and then after this, what we wanna do is scroll down here to general, and then after that, what we want to do is to go to software update. And as you can see here, I'm on iOS 16.5, as you can see. And obviously this is the latest version at the time of making this video, maybe iOS 16.6 .6 or 16.7 might be out by this time. The point is you've got to be on the latest version of iOS 16, what is available right now. But you can also see beta updates here at the top. Now, if I click on that, you can see it says here, iOS 17 developer beta right at the very, very top here. We've also got the public beta for 16 and the developer beta, but I'm gonna click on the iOS 17 developer beta and then click back. And then after this, what we want to do, you can see it's ready to go. And I'm gonna click download and install. I'm just gonna quickly put my code in. And then what we're gonna do, we're just going to leave this run. You can see here, it says update requested at the top. And now this is going to take some time to download. Now, if this doesn't appear straight away to do the beta updates at the very, very top, don't worry about it. Oh, you can see it's starting to download here. Don't worry about it. Like I said, the best thing to do is just restart your iPhone and see if it appears again or keep restarting your iPhone. So I'm just going to put down my iPhone for the time being while this update now comes along and updates itself onto the actual iPhone. Then once iOS 17 is fully downloaded, your phone will restart. And then once it's restarted, you will get to the main screen here, as you can see with the traditional hello. And if we just swipe up here as well, if I just do my face ID, you can see that obviously your phone has been updated to iOS 17. So if I just click continue here, just let the last few bits and pieces finish. So just leave us a second or so. And there we go, it's asking me to do Apple Pay. I'm gonna set that up later for now. Siri as well, I'm gonna set that up later. We'll say the analytics can go, and we're gonna share app development. And there we go, we are now on iOS 17 on this older iPhone. So that is really, really cool. And just to show you here, we can add some interactive widgets and things like this. So for example, let's say if I wanted to have, um, let's say a notes here, I can say I wanted this notes one here, and add that on. And then as you can see, I've still got no notes, but say if I've got a new folder or something like this, you know, I can just put this onto my phone. And then we've got all of those bits and pieces there. We can go into that. So let's just try a different um, interactive widget. I'm gonna get rid of that one actually. It's not probably the best one to use. So let's just try a different one. Let's add, I don't know, let's say this time, let's do the actual clock, for example. So let's go with, I'm trying to think of a good clock, That'd be good. Let's go with this one here. I like that one. The last one there shows all the different times and everything. So what we can do is we can click onto Sydney. Um, let's have a look. And there we go, we've got the world clock there and different times and everything. So that's all fully working too. So if we went into contacts next, and let's say we wanted to do a contact card. So let's go into my card here and I'm just going to do that poster ability here. I can click edit and then we can customize. Uh, we can have a contact photo. I'm gonna choose the camera here. So you're gonna see me, I'm gonna flick this round here, recording. So I'm just gonna quickly grab myself in this. There we go. We'll use that as our photo. And there we go. I can apply my style. I'm gonna have that one there. Click next. And then we can use that as my actual thing. I could put my name in. 
So I've got the keyboard, let's put in Matt here. And then return that, let's say Talks Tech is my name. That will, do, that will do. And then we can turn on name sharing, we can turn up to contacts, and then we are all done there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And just to show you another iPhone here, this is my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Just gonna go in, just to show you that I'm on iOS 17. If I scroll down here to general, and then go to software update, you will see here when it loads, there we go, I'm on iOS 17. I've also got the developer beta at the top there. So it's all fully working here on the latest and greatest iPhone that you can get your hands on right now. And there we have it folks, that is how you install the iOS 17 developer beta onto your iPhone. Now, as I said earlier on in the video, iOS 17 beta or the developer beta is full of bugs at this stage. So like I did say, I wouldn't really put this on your primary phone unless it's for test purposes, because you don't want to be stuck out and about where say if you use say Apple Pay and it's not working for example, or if you need to use the call ability and let's say a bug comes along and then that stops working, it's not going to be really cool to do that. So this is literally for testing purposes. And like I said, guys, I take no responsibility if basically your iPhone stops working you know due to it being a developer beta but in the meantime though guys if you do want to test it out yeah follow these steps what I've just shown you in this video and I'm sure that you're gonna love the new features in iOS 17 just like I have and on that note guys too it's also time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button and also if you want to hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons and even guides like this one make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell until next time guys I will see you really soon take care bye bye